Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Oh, my mama, we got Jermaine, the big funny dude, aka Big Low Ski. Hey, man. <clears throat> so we got Hey and, 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 and Big Low Ski. I said it right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I yeah, right, bet, man, bet. Right. Well, welcome to DJ UTV. My mom appreciate you for having us, man, for I sure. Appreciate it, man, man, I appreciate y'all for sliding. I know it's uh, the middle or the beginning of July. It ain't Easter. Y'all got on this pastel ass colors. Oh, um, yeah. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I just really, I'm going to tell you, I got a stylist from the UK. You know what I'm saying? She be flying here from New York. Come hey, 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 man. The Lord bought this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We just had it. You know what I'm saying? I had a yellow one. I was going to put on the pink ones, but I think it was just too much. You know okay. what I'm saying? Then he want to do, he always want to be like a, He want to look like a peach. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what he want to look like, though. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling peachy. Yeah, you were. You were really feeling peachy, but you know what I'm saying? Calm down with disrespect, though. All due respect. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just checking out y'all drip, you know? I feel you. Man. You know? That's it. Thank you, man. Thanks, thanks for being here. Uh, so let's get into y'all's story, man. Um, tell us where y'all from. Y'all from the west side of Chicago? Oh, my mama from out west, Jim. Yeah. My mama born and raised. Now, I'm actually born up north, but I was raised out west for sure. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm from the Holy City, man. You know what I'm saying? Chicago, you understand me? 16. All through that, man. Right. Holy City, that's out west, right? Yes. Okay, yes. for sure. West side. West side Hank, man. Big Hank. For sure. Know. So y'all know we hear about the south side of Chicago a lot, you know, um, what makes a, a, a west side nigga different from a south side nigga? Come on, man, that's easy, man. <laughs> Getting money, man. <laughs> oh, my oh, my mama, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you exactly what makes us different, man. Go ahead and tell me that, the, the, the Our upbringing, being out south, man, being so big and everybody so spread out, it be easier for them to bump heads with each other when they out. See, out west, everybody come together. They want to throw fiestas and party and all that. You know, so you know all the pimps, all the real pimps and max came from out west. Believe it or not. Yeah, that's facts. That's big facts. Right, right. Yeah. I would say the west side. I mean, the south side is cracking. You know what I'm saying? I used to shop over there at night and then, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the South Side, they cool. They cool, you know what I'm saying? Really, the South Side really getting smoother than the West Side. You understand me? All this killing going on, you understand me? Mm-hmm. You a tell us man. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Now, you know, we uh we watch a lot of YouTube, you know, and we see y'all damn near every day. Um, meanwhile, in Chicago, Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Skinbone, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Tell us um, how that came about, how you all became a part of it, you know, stuff like that. Shout out to my boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's still out of the, 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 the meanwhile, the Chicago yeah. definitely lit right now. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, it's crazy because, all right, so we're, uh, coming together, we know we had our Uncle Hank and Big Lowdown thing going on. Mm -hmm. And Skinbone was like one of the guys that we started like doing a lot of work with, started like, doing a lot of work with. And, uh, we was just like, we was just all like discussing with the YouTube stuff because we actually got our YouTube show actually from the start as well. Okay. Uh, Uncle Hank and Big Lowdown present, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. It's my sister house, uh, Dolores house, Dolores for house. sure. Uh, so we was like talking and then he like, man, you know what? I'm gonna start this meanwhile in Chicago back up, man. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna ride with me? I'm like, man, let's go. Why not? And once we just got the ball on with like with our little team and everything, like man, it's like it, it's been it's been dope ever since though. It's, it's been, been dope for sure. Dope. Especially with everybody together, with us coming together like that. And all our minds creative, we just come up with it. Everybody think it's scripted, but it's non-scripted. We just go with it. We just go. Come up with an idea and just go. Come up with an idea and we just go. For, for sure. sure. For sure, for sure. That's how it go. I'm definitely a fan of uh, Meanwhile in Chicago, for sure. sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, sure. Shout out to Skinbone two times, you know what I mean? Um, when I see Meanwhile in Chicago, see, uh, I was just living in Atlanta for the last three years, right? Yeah. And they got the 85 South show yeah. that be busting, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's three of them, you know? Yeah. So when I see y'all, I'll be like, damn, that's damn near that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though it's like three, four of y'all, shout out Rico, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout Rico, my boy. Um, um, but yeah, in my mind, like that's how I be looking at it, as a viewer, as a fan, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's that sh Chicago version of, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I want y'all both individually to tell me um, when were the earliest um, signs that comedy was something that you grew a lot of interest into? 
You want to go first? Um, You've been well, doing it for a while. <laughs> well, well, when I was well, when I was little, like the character Uncle Hank, a lot of people be like, where I come up with that from? I actually, that's my uncle, for real. My uncle name Hank. I just yeah, took the name. My grandma been telling me to talk, act like Uncle Hank, act like that all my life when I was little. All my life, act like Uncle Hank or you know, or other characters in my family, like my uncle Jerome too. So like I got a real uncle named Jerome, he used to be tripping out. And I get a lot of that from him too. So it's like stuff that I grew up with. But I really knew I was gonna do comedy though when I did my time in prison though. I had the um, 2010 to 2014. But my time in prison, I just was, you know, everybody just hear everybody roll. And I used to talk like Uncle Hank behind the doors. So people <laughs> would really think that I was an old man. Like, you know, especially when you locked in Especially like on the new, oh man, where you from, man? You know what I'm saying? They just really just going yeah, that's, so that's what you was, that's yeah. how you was talking in jail? Yeah. You funny was, as hell. You know, I was just playing behind the door, you know what I'm saying? When I be, you know, can't nobody see nobody, so I just playing like that. Then when I finally came out, I just um did it with my teacher, um, Mr. Lenore, Brandon Lenore. I reached out to him like, man, I wanna try to stand up comedy. And uh, I went on ahead and did it. Uh, stand up comedy, did the Leon Rod, and I was good at stand up comedy. I only bombed one time doing stand up. That's why I'm really my strong point at. And I'm really getting the Uncle Hank thing just blowing up for me. That's why, you know, it's a blessing that it is. So now people can really see the other side of me and really see D Brown, the comedian. You know? And you said, you said, you said you only bombed one time? I only said. bombed on stage one time. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So you, you damn near like Floyd Mayweather, you know, he ain't never bombed, but shot. you. You yeah, say you, you, you say you only got one L on that motherfucker. Yeah, one L. On that. That's it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, That's for what's sure. up. I perform many places, man. Yeah, for sure. What's up? What about you, Big? I mean, dude? me personally, I, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, man, the comedy thing, like, I never really like thought I would be doing like comedy for real though. Like, mm -hmm. I was always like the super funny one in school. Like, get kicked out. I've been mean, hosted the talent shows, but I never thought that comedy or content creator or being even a comedian would ever be like, cause I'm into like music. So my passion was always music. I used to be that one in that battle rapping and taking your head off. Like I put jokes in that when I battle rap, but it was never like, I never took the funny stuff like Super Sears until uh, I actually went dead time myself. Uh, I did uh, like six years and I came home and I was getting my car fixed, believe it or not. And they was like, man, why you don't do them funny videos? Like, man, they be making money off that. And I'm like, what? I'm like, let's do one right now. And I just came up with an idea. And right then and there, we did the video. Like, and it was like 4 million views on Facebook. Worldstar grabbed it. Worldstar did like 30 million views. So I'm like, oh, damn, this is way easier than rap. Like, I got to pay for studio time, pay for beats book sessions, do all this, and, mm -hmm. and then put it out there and hoping people gonna grasp it and like it. I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. I can just pull my phone out and just record and it's that easy. Yeah. So I started doing that, and I, I, I started doing videos. I fell back for, this was like 2018. And then I fell back off because I'm like, I ain't gonna take it serious. Then uh, AB came and slid on me like, man, look, I'm gonna do videos, and they Shout telling me to get up with you. AB. Shout out AB, funny as Albert Bear. Uh, he like, man, I wanna do some videos. So we started doing videos. And in the midst of us doing videos, he like bring me to meet bro. And he like, man, I got a stand up comedian, nigga funny, you know what I'm saying? We, I, I want to work with him, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, cool. And we brought him around and like we started doing videos together and he didn't even want to use to do the Uncle Hank character. Like he had do it offset. And I'll be like, bro, that's a dope character. He like, right. I ain't finna do that, I ain't finna. Right. I'm boy, that character strong, man. Right. I'm like, well, we gotta do that. Right. And he never used to want to do it. And he one time he just did it by himself, and it was like it went up. It was a pandemic. It went up, and <laughs> then and yeah, it was during the pandemic. And then me and bro, like we was getting up with each other every day doing videos, and it was just like one day we just like clicked, did it, and it was like from now it yeah, just it went, went up. up. We just been going. Just the show. Sure. That's what's up. Went up. I real. called him Big Lowdown. He called me. <laughs> he called me. Like I just that. called. It was straight freestyle. He, he called, called me that, and Lowdown. we stuck with it. I swear and to God. Just straight went with it. For sure. I swear to God, it was for crazy. Sure. I'm what's up? What's up? Okay, cool. So tell us, uh, tell us how it is working with Skinbone, man. You know, he just. Uh, Reached a million followers on Instagram, oh, yeah, sure, you know, sure, congratulations sure, sure. to Skinbone, yeah, you know. Sure, that's um, he's definitely a character, you know, sure. in, the, in, in, in these Chicago YouTube streets, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, but sure. yeah, tell us what it's like, you know, working with him on set. 
Man, it's, it's, it's easy, man. He, um, man, at first, though, let me tell you this. First, though, <laughs> let me tell you how it is, though. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't that peachy, though, because a lot of people will be looking, and I see that now that, um, you know, that I got my platform now that we done built. You know what I'm saying? I see people be in my inbox, man, let me work with you, let me work with you. And they don't be having no content. We're like, man, you ain't even got no content. I go to their page, like, all right, let me see. You know, I'll give somebody a chance. I'm good, I'll give somebody a chance. <laughs> you wanna have a video on their page? <laughs> you ain't got no video to talk about you, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, man, but anyway, right, when I first, when we first met Skimbone, uh, we was right there. He smoked Ontario. In the roast battle. In the roast battle. I, I mean, he, I mean. Right, fact. I mean, I mean, smoked Ontario. I, I mean, I'm funny. Right, in the, in the roast battle. He's like, hold on, we're recording over. It's footage somewhere. You don't find that footage, Ontario. You know you lost that. You know you're not a But anyway, so we were that Joe. Skip on, they said a word to us, boy. Not a word. He ain't say nothing. Did he? Yeah, nah. Yep. And anytime he was stand off, was like, I'm finna go do my videos or whatever. But we just kept working. You know what I'm saying? Just kept working, kept working. And then he reached out. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I see y'all working. For like, sure. man. And then he just, man, just put us on. And I, and I thank him for that. That's my mm -hmm. boy because he, he gave, you know, he gave me another platform, his platform. Basically. For sure, he helped, he helped, he helped grow and build our platform that we for got sure. today right now, for today, sure. He helped build the platform that I got right now. Because I be reading the comments on the Chicago be like, maybe like, oh, like, I be, you know, I read comments. Yeah. I like, you know what I'm saying, I probably don't reply, but I'm reading them for sure. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, though, I, I, I respect him, though, he, that's my boy. For sure, for I, sure. I ain't gonna lie, working with him, working with him kind of, it's dope, you know, we had, we built a friendship in the beginning, you know, kind of like shaky, you know, dealing with new people or whatever the case may be, but I was working with, before I started working with Skimbone, I actually worked with a bunch of other big funny dudes that's in the content creator Corp area. I, I worked with corporate, I had worked with uh, Blocks, I had worked with uh, Reggie Baby, That Boy Funny, Faster mm -hmm. Barber. Jay Slutty. Was I was I was like I was going out all to Atlanta like working with them guys. Atlanta, and great. and we was doing it, it was just like really like, you know, bumping shoulders with them, you know, just shopping in my tools, you know, because they was doing it for a while. And then when I finally did the video with Skimbone, he act we actually was around each other. He like, man, he like, damn bro, you funny as hell. He like, man, I got an idea for us. Mm -hmm. And he come up with the idea. That's when the uh Bruger had dropped the uh the GDs, the GDs in the dope. In the dope. The and he was like, this is idea. So we, I, he gave me the idea. I'm like, that's dope. So we, I got some creativity. So we just started bumping ideas. And yeah. once we came out with it and it dropped, Man, he was it went crazy. <laughs> but before the video even dropped, he was like, bro, this video finna go crazy. He like, I'm going to pay you off it. And I'm like, I dealt with so many other people that we did. I'm like, no, and there was no money involved. Like, we never talked money. I never talked money with no other content creator. I'm looking at it like, okay, I'm building my platform. That's what it is. Right. And... He like, he gave me some bread right then and there. Then after the video dropping, it went up. He sell me some more bread. I'm like, damn. No, okay. it's crazy. He came and told me after this. Yeah. So I want, you know, what I'm saying, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still in grand mode. He said, like, man, I just did a video with Bone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna snap. That you know, he gave me some bread. If it be bad, so I'm sitting there like, oh yeah. Like, damn, I'm like, damn, yeah, you know, like, damn. You know, like, Real? Yeah. You know, I was happy for him to say that, but I'm like, damn, for real? Then when that shit came out, that shit just went it through went the roof. crazy. And then I, I actually, you know, Ruga, you know, I think that, you know, that video he, really he shot that song. He told us, he told us, he told us, he, told us, he, he told us he felt crazy. like they helped it. It that, definitely that helped it. was crazy. On the real, that was dope. Yeah, it was dope. It was, it was fun. So, yeah. Bones, Shout definitely. out to Bone for sure. Big part for of, sure. you know, uh, on the journey that we on, yeah, big part. Of that's what's up. That's what's up. So, who are some other um, Chicago comedians that kind of keep y'all on y'all toes, right? Friendly competition. Now, when we say comedians, we talking about like stand up area yeah, or content creators. Content you right. And I noticed there is a uh, difference. We, we a both. major difference. We there do is both a both. Okay, y'all do both. Yeah. Do both. Okay. Well, let's attack both. So we'll start with the content first. Okay, they, um, they keep us on our toes for sure. Some around my the 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 team we got. It's definitely the guys team, that the we team. surround ourselves. I ain't gonna lie, for like sure. And, okay, Rico, um, Rico, okay, um, corporate, you know, corporate, okay. for sure, corporate. Um, like 
bone depth. Like they keep us like oh, they keep sure. me definitely. Like, you know, man. He definitely motivated me the most because he dropped more videos right. consistently like, and drop, made me be like, drop, damn, drop. I'm not working hard enough. I was like, right, you like man, for sure. I, 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 and all y'all motivate me doing what I do. You feel sure. me? I right. see y'all uploading every day. I'm damn. All right, look. It's like we they gonna be blocks too because blocks be working. Yeah, shout out to blocks. One thing about blocks, he be he's a networking junkie. Like okay. You will look up, look down, blocks will be over here. Yeah. You will wake up in the morning, blocks will be all the way over here. I'm like, for sure. okay, just I'm, put that together. I, I met blocks in the A. His energy yeah. remains yeah, for the same. Sure. For sure. His for energy sure. remains the same. Like when he wake up in the morning from when he go to sleep, his energy gonna remain the same. Even when he blue, his energy gonna remain. The same. For, sure. <laughs> for sure. So 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 on the stand up side, who keep y'all on y'all toes? Mike Sam. Mike Sam. Mike Sam. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, Mojo Brooks. For sure, Mojo Brooks. Because Mr. Hey, James. Because my mama. Me and Mojo Brooks. My mama. Me and Mojo Brooks. We um before before Mr. James and all that. And before Uncle Hank. Before the Uncle Hank and all that, we we did we was doing shows. Together. Comedy. They were doing stand up. We were doing stand up together and everything. He blew up. With the you Mr. know James. Mr. James really and then it really you know he was versatile <laughs> with the stand up and that you know him. what I'm saying and I'm like damn and I remember asking him like man bro how could you separate yourself from Mr. James and you know what I'm saying Mojo Brooks because you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. he man I just go and give him Mojo Brooks you know what I'm saying and I'm like right and me not knowing what the future would bring now I'm in the position where Uncle Hank is really. Bussing and they, I'm now you're gonna see D Brown, you're gonna get to know for sure who D Brown is, the stand up dog. Man, do you know how raw that is? Cuz know how raw that is. <laughs> That's cool. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all how raw that is because I've been on the road with Mojo since 2017. For sure. I'm Mojo yeah. official DJ, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. I set that question up hoping y'all was gonna mention Mojo Brooks, you feel me? Oh, yeah, for Cause sure. Because I know what he do on that stand up stage. Oh, no, nah, he, nah, yeah. Mojo, Mojo, yeah, he, he versatile though. Like, I know it's set. Like, we've been, we, I did like, say, like, I know it's set. Like, I know his jokes. Like, that's like, how I tell him to do the joke, do the, do the way you get in your. Booty lick Joe. That was Joe Buddy. That was bad, crazy. Shorty, that's your bad. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Mojo of my mama, bro. That joke is hilarious, bro. Stupid, man. Hilarious. For sure. Nah, like, I ain't gonna lie. I just recently did a show with him, like, not too long ago. My first time doing a show with him. Like, I've been to a comedy spot with him. And this was before I started doing comedy. I wasn't even doing stand up yet. Like, I'm still nervous. And, and they used to be telling me, man, get on stage, man, you got it. I'm like, man, I ain't ready yet. And it was a show, uh, him, Mojo Brooks, Funny Ass, Tierra. Yeah. And it was like five uh, stand-up comedians. And they kept telling me, Mojo, like, man, get up there, man. I'm like, nah, spot. nah. But then uh, I started doing that. And just like recently, they just gave me a slot on that with them. I went up there and bugged up right before. I, I actually went right before him. What was it? It was at, at the, uh, the Fox Theater. The Fox Valley Theater. Fox it was Valley a big show. It was a big show. It was big like show. one of my f f first big shows. And he was, I got off the stage. He's like, what? Dude, you just rocked them. Like, I'm like, I just, you know what I'm saying? Got it together. Now, but Mojo definitely keep 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 us on our toes. For sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. And um, I just want both of y'all to tell us who are some, um, Comedians, you know, um, mainstream comedians okay. that kind of, you know, help mold y'all into the comedians you all have became today. Uh, I, I definitely like urban, like comedians like Mike Epps, Corey Oakham, um, Corey Oakham, Mike sure. Sampson for sure, for sure. Um, uh, like guys like that, especially like you know, what I'm saying late great Bernie Mac, like straight urban, like. You know, guys or whatever. Okay. That's that's what keep gave me inspiration and stuff like Robert Harris. You know what I'm saying? Things like you know, guys like that. Especially I like movies and stuff. You know, right. my favorite movie and the funniest movie to me in the world is What's Love Got to Do with It. Okay. <laughs> What's Good Love Got to Do with It? That I've movie never heard that. Have to be more, one of the funniest movies in the world, man. What's Love Got to Do with It? Let me narrate that motherfucker. <laughs> uh, oh no, that's the Tina Turner and Ike movie. Yeah. Oh no, that movie is funny. Oh my God, man! man <laughs> crazy, yeah. this brother played that, man. That 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 movie is crazy, man. What's up? What's up? So, what's some of y'all future aspirations? Um, y'all coming up as content creating comedians, stand up comedians. You turn it to one. Where do you see yourself in the next five to maybe ten years? Comedy is definitely a longevity type of industry, sure. right? 
Yeah. For sure. Um, with me, with me, with me, I don't know. It, it's like a journey. I don't know. To me, I don't, I, you know, life's so short, and it's like a journey. Like, right now, we working. I'm just making it, like, to me, it's like a short goal and a long goal. Like, real, right. like a, and when I say short, I'm talking about tomorrow. Tomorrow. Three days. This can happen like, tomorrow, right? Like a short, like, like we working on our, uh, we on our YouTube first season. Right now, YouTube first episode, season, YouTube. first season, episode, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go uh, like, subscribe. Sure. So Uncle Hank and nephew Big Low down on YouTube got our yeah. shows dropping for sure. Uncle called the Lord's House for Mom, sure. We working on it. We already working on the way we got that complete uh, first, first episode, episode for complete. sure. So that's what I'm. You know, it's like a journey. Okay. So for who sure. knows? You know, the for phone sure. can ring tomorrow. For sure. Yeah. Especially with the internet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, got the is, internet man, going I, crazy. I, I definitely years, see. Right. I see. Okay, so I said I five to ten I years. Greatness, I probably should have said five to ten days, no, right? I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I get what you're saying, but it's, that's just me. But you can yeah. go. You can go. I mean. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you what I mean. I mean, from his point of view, I definitely see where you're coming from with it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely like how you put that. But five years for me, personally, I definitely see where you're coming from with it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely like how you put that. But five years for me, personally, I, I do see myself like big screen somewhere, like like major platforms, like HBO series type of ordeal. Like, uh-huh. like. I know for sure I got what it takes to be big screen. Like, man, sure. it just it just work, working to get it. I know mm-hmm. they looking right now. They want to see you working hard enough to be for like, sure. all right, look, I know, I know you got, okay, come on. Now. I got this role for you. Let's go. For sure. Play that role to the T. I spin off and do something else. That's what I, right. five years from now, I've been doing this, what, like two years now? Yeah. I've been doing this like two years now. Okay. And, I'm, and, I'm, and on the stand-up side, right. on the, on the, on the, Comedy on the videos with this 2022. I did my first video like towards the end of 18. Fell up, I say about like four years, not even four, not even a full four years of doing it. So we ain't been in that. And, and the platform and the rate that I'm going right now, five years from now, I know for sure as long as I stay consistent, steady, keep working, I'm gonna get there. That's for sure. That's the thing, consistency. For that's sure. The thing. Consistency win. You only. You could have the weakest talent. <laughs> consistency. Or, or the great, I mean, the greatest talent. Consistency, man. Gonna win. I definitely seen some unfunny consistency people. Consistency win. win over talent. Being consistent. Consistency. Right, for sure. For sure. For sure. I know you'd be like, man, I'm way funny in the hell. He working, though. Mm-hmm. For sure. Mm-hmm. True. You That's like seeing an ugly that. dude with a bad chick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Basically. Anyway, you know, the next way. It is, though, for sure. I mean, I understand it. But it's like it's like motherfucker don't they be like uh 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 at the first dude get to buying all them little lunches and shit. Yeah. Steady wanna keep taking her out, doing all that shit the the flat nigga want to do he got her. You know what I'm saying? He got her. For sure, for sure. So what y'all got coming up next? I heard y'all say you got a show coming up tonight. Oh yeah, we got y'all yeah, we are we stay uh working. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, his birthday coming up. Okay. July, my mom, 20, July my birthday 20, July twenty seventh. Yeah. 27 party, Saturday, July 30th, pool. Uh, Uncle Hank and Big Low down present all me's little London, wet wine. You know I went to Love London. Big old booty, flat booty, wide booties, any booties, all the booties. And we having a flat booty tour contest. For sure. Big, no dick, all flat booty, pick all flat booty girl. Have a tour contest with them. Have a tour contest with them. Straight we up. can't think. We can't pick between the thick girls because we just be like, damn. So we gonna pick between <laughs> skinny girls who ain't got no ass. You can pick between them. So it'll be way easier. Be like, yeah, see? <laughs> she ain't got no ass, but she throwing it. He's throwing a little lunchable around. <laughs> Show that, man. Man. Any shout outs on the uh, closing remarks before we get about that motherfucker? Oh, man. Shout out. Uh, shout out to the team, man. Really the whole team. The whole, game the whole Bone Boy club uh, game. Nah, man, ain't no Bone Boy. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Light. For out, sure. Shout out to my daughters, my kids. My Family wife. for sure, love, y'all. Yeah, thanks. Shout out to my mom. Zill Free, my OG. Shit, we got in a minute. You understand me? Man. It's my daily birthday today too. Every birthday party. It's your daily birthday. Every birthday yeah, party. Yeah, my, yeah. my life. Man, I want to shout out anybody who has a goal, anybody who has a dream, anybody who has sure. anything like that. They mindset, my friend, and stick with it. No Don't quit, quit it. And you gotta get it. For man. sure. For sure. sure that. If ain't nobody tell you nothing else, man, stay consistent. God. For sure. I ain't told you that. So, so. Hey, that's real. Man, thank y'all for sliding. You know what I'm so. saying? Slide through the castle studio. 
Shout out to Royalty Productions. Also, shout out to y'all manager, uh, Miss Little over here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shout, out, shout out to Sharice. Sharice. She's steady. Sharice. Shout out to Sharice. Nah, let me say something about Sharice, man. She's steady. Don't For real, she working, though. She working. She working. She working. She working. For real. She working, she working, she working. She working. She working. She working. For real. DJ UTV. It's a wrap. DJ, you go crazy.